Good morning, and there you go. That's what I do all day. I am Super Mario, but instead of collecting gold coins, I'm going around collecting bitcoins. And as you know, I recently went over and did a short-term trade, and uh, of which I was trading from the 8800 to all the way down to 8532. I got fills in, and then turned around and sold half of those from 89 to 8960, and. Rinse and repeat. I do that all the time. I have small ranges that I'm trading, and you know you don't get to see these, and you haven't been able to benefit from them because Cornex was a bot that was complete garbage. I can't go over and type in, you know, these speed of these ranges and so forth as they're occurring. Um, they're very small and they're very fast. So I need a GUI-based dome-like um, interface where I'm trading directly from the charts, like something like this we're looking at signally. And uh, if we can get something like this, you can fully benefit from that type of trading that I do because it's very powerful. And my returns are much higher than what you were able to get with a, a Cornex. It just was too limiting. And uh, the technology sucks, to put it bluntly. Um, this is a, a, an example of where I took 0.1 Bitcoin at the time. It was around 10 grand, and that was back in September. I did this with Thomas, who wound up burning out because he's a young, um, hold on a second, let me get this. Sorry about that. Um, he was a young trader that had no experience, and he, he basically, you know, he blows accounts and wasn't able to control his impulses and wasn't really willing to learn and take the time to sit back and watch what actually happens. So unfortunately, he's history. And, um, you know, it, when you have 30 years of experience, you get to watch a lot of people come and go because of uh, the fact that they are not able to handle it. But anyway, I, I took the 0.1 Bitcoin, and uh, which was around 1000 bucks at the time, and I've turned it into 0.8077. So now we're up to 0.80, and it keeps growing and growing. And that comes from my experience as a trader. I can't tell you how much that means. I mean, that's a 600% return, basically, within six months, which is extremely high at 3x. So, you know, even the at 1x and so forth, I'm looking at over 200% returns. And that's just from trading, you know, and getting the big moves like we have right here where I was correct and we pulled back. And this is all statistics and probabilities. I'm not going over and trying to predict the future. Um, I'm creating, I'm observing what happens most often. I am planning on how to um, what to trade and then I'm executing and that's it that's all I do in trading and uh, it I want people to benefit from that through the mirror trading and it's going to be a really good solution because if not then what the hell are we doing here you know I, I'm going to basically give it to the end of this month and I'm going to uh, close it down and cut and run um, so we have to the end of this month to find the correct solution or I'm out um, and that's all there is to it but other than that, um, let's get to the market update and let you see what's uh, going on and, and where we are so you can get an idea of uh, what's going on with the market. And here we go. Uh, now, if you remember, I was a buyer all the way down even under the, the 7,000 range over here. And uh, all the way, I think we've got one position open from 6,800 another one from 72.60 of about 45% long. Um, that's a key allocation on the long side. Now, a bunch of trades that I had, um, I took profits as we entered this zone here from the nine, the upper 9,000 to mid 10,000 range. If you remember, those trades should have been closed out on from the long side and took profits on. Um, as that's what I was looking to occur, and indeed that did occur, and we went all the way up to uh, the 10,000, almost 10,500. We stayed right within the box uh, that I drew a long time ago, almost perfectly. And uh, if you remember, this goes all the way back to here, and this is where the, the highs and the lows and so forth, and it made the most sense this point that point and this point and that's what that really represents also in volume um, 
so that added as resistance, very logical. And another thing occurred is we had a pattern from this point to here and from where we started off. And there's a wave count that goes along with this. And it's more complicated than just regular Elliott waves. So I'm not going to really get into it because it has to do with the overall geometry of the marketplace and how the volume and uh, price action developed within all of these areas to give us the setup back down to here. Um, which is, again, very logical and everything made sense. And this is indeed what happened. It went all the way up to there and then pulls back all the way down to here. And that's where we are right now. Now, short term, all the way from the 88, um, under 88.50 down to the 86, it almost went down to the, my target of 8,500. I didn't think it would hit there and it didn't. So I've just been buying short term for here to there. And it's just a, a simple trade. There's nothing very complicated. There's a divergence right here. Um, and the volume shows itself on shorter time frames uh, that this is likely to cycle out before we get another downturn uh, under or at this uh, the current lows. So I'm going to look for that to occur. Now we could just drop down to under the lows and hit the 85 and so forth. And then I would become more of a buyer um, once again and uh, become more bullish uh, because of the fact that we would be leaving uh, uh, a bit of voids on the charts for us not to, to get above this level here short term. Um, but you know, it's up to the market. Now, probabilities, that's the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about. Uh, there have been three different ranges that were could occur, and I've already mapped these out probabilistically months ago. And the three ranges range from all the way up to here near the 12,000 area, the 11,900 uh, from the 10,500. And another range ranges from the mid to upper uh, 9,000 all the way back down to that 8,500. And then the last one goes from that low like 8,200 area back all the way to the 7,100 level. And these three different areas have probabilities to them of occurring. This has the least probability. This has the highest, the one that we're currently in and showing itself, the highest probabilities of occurring. And that's what's currently playing out. And this uh, has the second highest probability. So there are good numbers that can, if we collapse under here, uh, of which we could go all the way back down here in some panic or something. There's there's numbers that say that this is possible for it to occur higher than us going above there. Um, so that's why uh, when I see the, I rationalize the numbers logically, I take more shorts out and so forth because you get the three different ranges and this one winds up uh, tagging as being the highest. And... Um, you know, and that's why everything that I do is probabilistic. It's not based off emotions or, or you know, I think this is going to happen or that's going to happen or based off of my desires. I've let my desires in trading go a long time ago and uh, with that uh, increased my profitability. So um, now the balance of what we had, we're in a good position because we basically uh, took profits all the way up into here and then went short and hedged any of our longs that we have from down here. And, you know, so we can't, we basically can't lose money by um, being profitable. Uh, and that's where we currently are. Now the allocation, I believe is 45% long from under that 7,200 level all the way down to 6,800. That's 45%. And then we have about 40% of shorts. Now that could be a skew because certain things did not work well with the Cornex bot and um, uh, different users might have different allocations, but it should be within that range. And as we move down to here, this target area down here, um, trades will be closed out and I'll probably start going long again. Uh, I likely will. And depending on what the, the chart draws and 
what I see in the, in the price action and, and uh, in the marketplace. So that's likely to occur. And um, then from there, uh, there's a whole bunch of things that could occur, but I'm not going to go into that right now because it's not really developed on the chart. Uh, one thing that I did do that I'm very confident in is the BNB trade. I am back into trading BNB if it would pop up here. Um, seems it's taking a minute. What happened? Uh, there we go. So the BNB trade I bought all the way from uh, the 1890s and under. I bought it all the way down to the around 1810 down here. So I added, averaged in, and you know it, it was in the buy zone. And I'll look for it to get all the way back up to the around 21 to uh, just under 22. And that makes the most sense. This looks like it'll be a pretty good and easy trade. Uh, as you know, before going back in the past, we were long on this one. These charts are not updating very quickly from the 16 all the way down to under 14. And see the, the move there. We're long for 24 and above. And we did indeed get that and even a decent amount above that, which was fantastic. That was a great trade. And this one I expect to be a good trade as well. Um, now, outside of that, that's that's basically it. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is the, the bot itself. Uh, so that's the market update where you know where we are, and I'm, I'm looking for us to, uh, just one time, I'll go over briefly, for us to get a move up to here, there, could probably go down here and develop something. Uh, nothing's completely developed yet. We're just within these ranges, so... We'll let them play out as we are, and we're in a good position. So, so things look good, and I'll keep you guys updated and see what we can find as far as getting a working solution. And it's got to be a winner. I'm not going to accept anything less than very good and usable um, for what I do. Um, no more crap. And we'll go from there. Other than that, have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.